The long dark took everything from us. It took our crops, our countries, and for many of us, our lives. We managed to survive underground, burrowed underneath the corpse that is this earth. So many years have passed, we have lost track of time. Yet there are still those who live with us that remember what the surface once was and long for its return. Balking against the mandates of the ordered government and the Quisustanat, there are those that would dare risk their freedom and even their lives to see one last glimpse of what the surface once was. We are the brave. We are the bold. We are the ones that seek the surface. We seek the land of Viridian, the one that was once promised to us. I'm going to walk up to, to the wreckage of the door and look out. Oh yeah, there's a platoon of police officers that are outside the door. Hello? I feel this is a Carrick thing. W- what are the police force in the city called? Are they are they legit called? The Q-Sistinant. They're tied to the QS, but they're they're basically the Verota guard. I'm going to look in and be like, ah, the guardsmen have arrived. Uh, come in, come in. It, it's, uh, as far as we can tell, all the monsters have been dealt with, but the area is not secured yet. What happened here? There's like a platoon of, of guards that are outside. Underdark monsters broke into this home. Deep underdark monsters. The head police officer, who's a very smartly dressed woman, brunette, has her hair up in a bun, looks over at Helena, who kind of nods, vouching the story. Is everyone okay? I don't know. I'm going to, like, pointedly, like, gesture my with my jaw over at, over at Helena, but not, like, vocalize anything. There is a cleric that leaves the path you know, the, the group of people and goes over and checks her vitals, you know, a small, like light in the eye, like checking for dilation and stuff like that. While that's happening, I'm going to, I'm going to approach the, the lady. Mm-hmm. I'm a uh, Carrick Stormwind, a concerned citizen in this place. I'm going to lower my voice. We saw some kind of creature in there that I cannot identify. You're going to have to start from the beginning, sir. Yes, yes. The fires, and I'm going to, like, not explain that further, because obviously I can just gesture over to the fucking east. (laughs) Yeah. We're spreading through the fields towards this building, and the estate is, it it belongs to family members of my friend, Embrin, and I point at Embrin. She is of the Overlock clan. So Embrin became concerned, and we ran to the house to try and warn any inhabitants of the impending fire spreading through the fields. However, when we got here, the door had been demolished. And when we entered to see if, if anyone was in trouble or, or if there were intruders or what we encountered a troop of hook horrors. And after a very nearly fatal fight for you managed to, (laughs) we managed to take care of them. Further exploring the house in search of survivors, we came to find Helena on the top floor. But right before we saw her, we saw some kind of thing that appeared to be made out of some sort of inky black fluid or gel. And as soon as we saw it, and assumedly it saw us, I don't know, it didn't seem to have eyes. Mm -hmm. It sort of... Carrick, like, tries to grasp for a way to explain it that's not, like, devolving into magical jargon. It kind of just bled into the ceiling and threw it and disappeared. I see. Officer, did you get that statement? And there's a half-orc furiously scribbling into what kind of looks like a notepad. Yeah. I love him already. (laughs) Or her. Not sure. I love that this is just completely normal to the police. We do live in the Underdark, dude. Like, they've probably heard shit like this before. <laughs> the half orc kind of nods and adjusts his spectacles and looks back down at his notes. Uh, ma'am, uh, I believe I got what I... I believe I got a proper statement from this Carrick Stormwind. Should we cross-examine the rest of the witnesses? Uh, that, uh, we agree with whatever he said. He all, Everything that he said, that yes... Uh Uh-huh. It happened. Can we get names? The female lead. 
just like kind of groups the rest of you and kind of coaxes you in with the rest of the there's a bunch of guards that are kind of like funneling you towards her i mean you can choose to resist if you want it's your life no 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 my name's emberin of the underlock clan i came here on family business the underlocks what are you doing so far out here i would love to explain but we don't have three hours she kind of falters at that she like whispers over to the half orc you can uh roll me a perception check okay yeah, it was probably a bad idea to get my real name, but fuck it. I don't care anymore. Well, I right already now. did it, and the Qsistonauts are looking for me, so, like... I got a 15, yeah. Our timeline Perception. just got bumped the fuck up. Yeah. Nice. Get a testament from the Underlock woman. I mean, we still have a presence in Pineville, right? And the uh, half-orc nods. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why they're work- still working this far out. I thought we gave them a cease and desist a while ago. That's the conversation you hear? Interesting. Yes, Miss Underlock. It's interesting to see you visit, and Mr. Carrick Stormwind, thank you for your testimony. Mutter to the side. Isn't there an APB out in a Carrick Stormwind to the half-orc? <clears throat> the half-orc almost imperceptibly nods. I see. Yes, Mr. Stormwind, I believe we'll need to discuss more in private. He's supposed to be the smart one. It seems that, uh... The only way to not get caught lying is to not lie. (laughs) So, (laughs) I don't know about you. Well, I mean, I do know about you, but my deception check is not lie to the cops level. (laughs) (laughs) Is that, uh... Could we really deal with the matter at hand before you try to bring me in for questioning? Well, we already have a team that we've distributed in order to take care of... She stares at the bodies of the hook horrors. Whatever happened here. Yeah, but but the other thing, uh, it's still in the house somewhere. It is true. Rogrit, could you have an additional strike team take a look? You would be best sending someone immersed in magical things along. Make a note of that we're going to need an alchemist. Rogrit nods. Send in the whole squad. It's very dangerous in there. There's no telling how powerful that uh, thing is. Not for nothing. Uh, are you missing the point? You're going to send a messenger back to base to organize a strike team and call in an alchemist? The thing is upstairs somewhere. All right, so let me get this straight. I see points back at the door. Flagrant evidence of breaking and entering. I see multiple yes. unidentified bodies... That are strewn Definitely about us. the stairs. Do they look like the they live horrors. here? Like they normally belong here to you? Is that... Hey, uh, da, da, da. She puts up a finger. I'm the one asking questions here. And I see a known fugitive of the law, a Carrick Stormwood, giving testimony in front of me right now. Yes, I committed the grievous sin of deciding to change my residence. Which... I might add, under our jurisdictions, is grounds for treason. Treason? <laughs> That's what mouths treason? Grounds for treason, yeah. No, like, I decided, huh, I don't want to live in this town anymore. Treason. I like how the next town over gets to accuse me of treason for leaving my town. So, all right. <laughs> Those seem to be out of their jurisdiction. I don't know. I don't know the law, Miss Warden lady. Arguments of how insane that is aside... So look, you imagine our whole story is false because we're evil criminals who've changed our address. No, I didn't say that. I said that you are a fugitive of the law. I'm taking you in for custody. You can give further testimony about what the hell happened here in a private facility. I will. While I ship you back to where you actually are supposed to belong, which is Newton. I will stay here with you and assist your team. In finding that thing, maybe you haven't been living in the Underdark for very long. Have you ever heard of an Aboleth, a Beholder, a Mind Flayer? We can't let an unidentified aberration just be in an area where people are living. Sir, come quietly. I will take care of the matter. We'll investigate the matter further. I already have my team, pointing to the rest of the guards that have scattered about the the manor, that are, like, going up the stairs now. Investigating the matter. We will look into it and see if we can find it. 
I have also set a strike team that is going to look at this and seek and destroy if necessary. Now come with me, or will I have to get violent? Zoom, how many people, how many guards are there right now that we're looking at? There's like eight. We're not in the kind of shape. <laughs> These aren't even really the real Qsistonauts. These guys are just fucking puppets. They're fucking indoctrinated, too. God, yeah. if I had key points yeah. right now, I swear to God, I would take the entire squad. <laughs> yeah, and if I had a lightning bolt or, like, more health, but we don't. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so mad! Special thanks to our logo designer, Sierra Twazen, to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, and Mongoose Publishing. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken, join the community Discord, and maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash the Broken Lords. Thank you podcast recommendations you ask brian wayne here co-curator of the apocalypse and i know that sounds gnarly that's because it is gnarly man the apocalypse what is the apocalypse the apocalypse is a culmination of the gnarliest podcast independent podcast the internet has to offer so instead of trying to go to twitter the next time you uh, need a new podcast to listen to and try to get twitter famous podcast recommendations please just think the apocalypse man and it's ironic because the apocalypse is only the beginning it's only the beginning just go to podchaser.com it's it's in the top list the top list in the whole world so whether you're looking for true crime sports uh, role playing. Uh, well, I don't know anything. Anything. Think of a podcast. It's on the apocalypse. It's like the apocalypse with a D. Hmm. And do not forget to follow the apocalypse on Twitter as well. Once again, that is the apocalypse. If you're looking for a podcast recommendation, the apocalypse is sure to have something for you.